He's like, if you hit me in the eyebrows, it'll cut for sure. So he's basically telling me where to aim, but making a joke about it because we're just training. He said that my elbows were really good, and if I did the exact same elbow, but on his eyebrow, it would cut like that. See how he just rocks his weight? And then the person collapses into you because they're putting pressure? He's not putting a whole lot of pressure on me, but me taking mine away would cause him to kind of stumble forward. You don't have to have someone like plowing or bulldozing into you. They can just be putting a little bit of pressure. Kick. <laughs> Knee. So he wants me to respond immediately. See how he, he pushed my arm off to the side? And I was like, well, that's done because my arm's been pushed off to the side. Even if I'm off balance, I can actually regain my balance by throwing a strike from that side. And he's open to it because of how he just angled his body on pushing my arm. See how that kick came right off of the knee. <laughs> I keep my arms down at my chest and he never says anything. But there, him making fun of me shows that he sees it all the time. So this is just keeping pressure on by staying close and throwing strikes as he's trying to move out of the way and on top of what I'm already throwing. He's trying to, he, right now he's showing the push and pull with his arms. He's like, you push a little bit and then you melt away and they collapse. That push-pull is exactly the same as what he's trying to teach me with the forward and back, side to side. Like, you have this overall flexibility in his style that if someone kicks you on one side and you can immediately counter on the other side, it's like being a reed or a spring that like no matter what pressure you put on it, it has an opposite counter movement that if you're not prepared for it, strikes you. So with these knees and arm interruptions and like step backs, it's all exactly the same as that push-pull concept that he's showing me with the upper body. You can see it in the way he moves his feet just in space like this. Forward check, back. You're on your wrong foot. So when I'm forward checking and like cross checking too much, mm -hmm. um, it's because I'm on my back foot. And when I'm on my back foot, I never reach anything with my kick. And I'm always waiting to kick. So right now I need to keep my weight forward all the time. And then as I learn how to balance my weight between my legs, it'll become more Karahat's flexibility. But he wants me to see the way his body is angled right there as open for the kick. It's like how when someone's holding pads, they stand in a position with the pads flat out, and you're like, that's for a kick. Like, you train yourself to see that position as a trigger for the kick so that your trainer doesn't have to yell kick every time they do it. He's doing that with his body, which is good, what reading. fighting is. You see someone's body in the ring. They don't have pads. And the when you, you see read, that uh, angle, more your body he alone. wants you to see I it as the trigger for the kick in the exact same way that when someone paragraph. holds a pad up, you see it as the jab or the cross or the kick or whatever. 